Hey guys, Derek here from Modern Castle. At Modern Castle, we test each upright vacuum with eight different tests to measure the cleaning performance and usability. We put all the data side by side to help determine the best upright for 2023. Choosing the best upright vacuum was fairly easy considering the stark performance differences across the range of brands and models we tested. We've tested 16 upright vacuums, and while some come close, nothing quite compares to the Dyson Ball Animal 3 and the Shark Stratos upright. When it comes to choosing the vacuums we'd recommend, we look at a number of factors that impact the usability and performance, including excellent cleaning performance, effective dustbin sealing, usability features, and dustbin capacity. To assess vacuums, we put them through a battery of objective and data-driven tests. If you'd like to see the details on exactly how we test our data and how each of the five vacuums compare to each other, jump to the comparison chapter time codes in the description. Before we take a deep dive into the different tests, let's highlight the absolute best uprights we've tested. This video is sponsored by NapLab. NapLab is our sister channel where we put mattresses to the test. We test mattresses through our battery of nine different tests to create the most objective, transparent, and helpful reviews possible. If you're in the market for a new mattress and need help, visit us over at naplab.com or on our channel at YouTube. Across all of our tests, the Dyson Ball Animal 3 showed it is truly one of the best. It brings 290 air watts of suction power, which is able to remove 99.4% of all debris across all floor types. This largely is thanks to the adjustable cleaning hedge, which allows the user to raise or lower gates that adjust the suction and seal the cleaning head. The thick brush roll with hair removal veins was able to reduce long hair tangles to nothing and remove pet hair with ease. In addition, the dustbin was completely sealed, assuring that all the debris remains in the device while cleaning. Usability is also incredible for the Dyson Ball Animal 3. The dustbin is removable and easily empty, so they point and shoot style. Both of the filters are washable, which improves maintenance and comes with a few accessories that aid in specific cleaning situations. Just like the Animal 3, the Shark Stratos Upright had fantastic results across all of our tests. 98.9% .9 of all debris by weight was removed due to only missing some sugar on high belt carpet. None of the hair tangled in the brush roll, and 100% of the pet hair was removed from the carpet. Additionally, in our smoke sealant test, the Stratos was completely sealed. It comes in two different versions, the standard and true pet upgrade. Each has the same vacuum, but comes with more accessories if you choose the upgraded version. These accessories improve cleaning in specific situations. Unlike the Dyson, the Stratos dustbin can be lifted away from the rest of the device to be used like a canister vacuum. In addition, it comes with odor neutralizing pods which help mask the bad odors that occur while cleaning. While not the absolute best from Shark, the Shark Apex Dual Clean Zero M is still a fantastic upright vacuum in its own right. It too had incredible results in our cleaning tests with 99.6 debris removal. In addition, it avoided the majority of hair tangles and it removed most of the pet hair from carpet. Furthermore, the device is completely sealed. It has the same lift to weight capabilities as the Stratos, allowing for more mobility while cleaning. It comes with a basic set of tools that enhance usability, has a bagless dustbin, and washable filters. Just like the newer model, the Dyson Ball Animal 2 is a fantastic upright vacuum. It had a 96.3% debris removal rate on all floor types, only struggling with cereal on high pal carpet. It has incredible suction power, but lacks the adjustable head of the Animal 3. This leads to the vacuum pulling the cleaning head down closer to the carpet, not leaving much space for cereal to pass under. That said, using the hose could remedy this issue. Long hair performance was okay, but not amazing for the Animal 2. A good portion of the hair tangled around the brush roll. Despite this, pet hair performance was exceptional as it removed the vast majority of the pet fur from the carpet. In addition, the device is mostly sealed. Overall usability is good for the vacuum as well. It comes with a few helpful accessories, has a washable filter and point and shoot bagless dustbin. In addition, the brush roll can automatically adjust to best fit the floor type. Despite being similar to the Apex in multiple ways, the Shark Vertex Dual Clean is a powerful upright vacuum. 
It removed 99.4% of all debris across all floor types, had no issues with long or pet hair, and was completely sealed in our smoke sealant test. It has an excellent build quality that has the same lift to weight capabilities as the other two Shark uprights. Additionally, unlike Apex, it has the improved power fans, which replace the traditional bristles on the previous brush roll. The filters are washable and it comes with cleaning accessories that aid in a multitude of different situations. While choosing which upright vacuums made this list, we tested and analyzed 16 different upright vacuums to make our decision. While some of these uprights are still excellent devices, there are one or more factors that make them significantly worse than the models we chose. Most of the other vacuums we tested, like the Hoover Sprint Quick Vac or Dyson Small Ball, missed a significant portion of debris in our cleaning test, leading us to not include them. In addition, other vacuums had issues with maintaining a tight seal, the Loop Pure being one of the worst offenders. Loop Pure performed extremely well in our objective cleaning and usability test. However, our recently added dustbin seal test was a complete disaster for the Loop. Loop was unable to contain smoke within the dustbin, indicating it would likely scatter dust and other particulates during the cleaning process. There were a few, like the Shark Navigator Liftway Pro and Shark Rotator, that had reasonably good performance. However, due to them being older models, they lacked some of the newer usability features. In addition, they were notably worse in terms of objective cleaning performance. Even so, given the price point, they are still good value vacuums. Next up, we're going to move on to our side-by-side -side performance comparisons. Our cleaning test measures how well vacuums remove debris from different floor types. We consider this to be one of the most important factors when choosing a vacuum cleaner. To test this, we place four different debris types on three different floor types. We measure 0.5 ounces of each debris and place it in separate lines on each floor type. We then run the vacuum on the highest suction power, running it over each debris with a singular forward and backward pass. After cleaning, we measure the amount of debris by weight as a comparison. On screen now is a table showing all of the data we've collected from these tests. Across the board, all of these uprights had fantastic results in our cleaning tests, with none of them scoring below 95% in overall debris removal. In some cases, the vacuum struggled, like the Dyson Ball Animal 2 with cereal, but by and large, none of the vacuums had many issues. In comparison, the average cleaning performance across all vacuums we've tested to date is a 91%. This includes all stick and canister vacuums we've tested, but it shows you just how powerful these uprights are. Excluding the serial situation with the Animal 2, any of these upright vacuums would be well equipped to handle any cleaning task. In addition to testing debris removal performance, we test how well the vacuums manage long hair. We lay 1.0 grams of long hair on the hardwood floor in the direct cleaning path of the vacuum. We then run the vacuum over it, check the floor for remaining hair, and check the brush roll for tangles. The table on screen shows our full set of long hair performance data. Most of the upright vacuums in this list had no issues with long hair or tangles around the brush roll. All of the uprights completely removed the hair from the floor, no issues there. However, the Dyson Ball Animal 2 had a good amount of hair tangled on the brush roll. While this can be cleaned out after vacuuming, all the other vacuums had brush rolls and cleaning heads designed to avoid tangles. Additionally, the Shark Apex had 0.01 grams of hair tangle, but that amount is negligible and easily removed. To test how well an upright vacuum manages pet hair, we place 1.0 grams of pet hair onto high pile carpet and rub it into the fibers. We then run the vacuum over it on the highest suction power available with one forward and one backward pass. After, we check the remaining hair by weight and compare it to the starting amount. On screen now is a table of the data we've collected from our pet hair test. Practically all of the uprights in this comparison had little to no issues with pet hair. The Dyson Ball Animal 2, Shark Stratos, and Shark Vertex all had perfect results. The Dyson Ball Animal 3 was nearly perfect with 99% pet hair removal, and the Shark Apex with the furthest behind at a 92% rate. To measure wind speed, we use an anometer against the opening of the cleaning wand attached to the vacuum. We run the vacuums on each mode and measure the amount of inward suction it creates by wind speed. The table on the screen shows our complete set of data for our wind speed tests. Wind speed measurements averaged in the 24 to 28 miles per hour area for the uprights in this comparison. 
but there were a few standouts. The Shark Stratos had surprisingly low wind speed compared to the other vacuums, having speeds in the 13 to 17 miles per hour range. Additionally, Shark Vertex Duo Clean has faster wind speeds than the other vacuums with speeds in the 27 to 38 miles per hour range. The Dyson Ball Animal 2, Dyson Ball Animal 3, and Shark Apex all fell within the average area for their wind speeds. Despite the variations, all the vacuums were able to use it effectively and maximize cleaning capabilities. To illustrate just how powerful these upright vacuums are, we put their data side by side with our best cordless stick vacuums. In most cases, the uprights are more powerful than the cordless stick vacuums, with the only outlier being the Shark Stratos upright, having surprisingly low wind speeds. Our smoke sealant test checks how well the vacuum systems are sealed while cleaning. Having a properly sealed vacuum ensures that dust and debris that is cleaned up stays in the vacuum. If it's not properly sealed, this debris could be distributed around the home as you clean. To test this, we set up a fog machine with the output facing directly towards the vacuum's cleaning one. Once the fog machine is ready to go, we turn on the vacuum to its highest suction power and release short streams of smoke into the vacuum. The table on screen shows all of our data for the smoke sealant test. Every upright vacuum except one was completely sealed, keeping all of the smoke contained in the device. Only in the case of the Dyson Ball Animal 2 was the vacuum not completely sealed and released some smoke into the surrounding air. However, the sealing was done well enough that we would consider it mostly sealed. Initially, we were planning on including the Loop Pure Cordless Vacuum in this best of list. However, when we tested the sealant of the device, we found it was not sealed and released a majority of the smoke back into the air. If a vacuum cannot contain smoke well, then it will also not be able to contain dust particulates either. Upright vacuums are going to be loud and generate a good amount of noise while running. To measure this, we set each vacuum up on high power carpet and measure the level of noise created on each mode. In addition, we measure the ambient noise levels of the room as a baseline comparison. On screen now is a table showing all the sound levels of the vacuums on this list. As expected, all of the upright vacuums are quite loud, creating noise in the 73 to 81 decibel range. The Sark Stratos was the quietest, creating around 74 decibels of noise in each mode, and the Shark Vertex was the loudest at 81 decibels. That said, the Dyson Ball Animal 3 and 2 were practically just as loud as the Vertex. Here's what each model sounds like. Each vacuum comes with its unique set of accessories and features that aid in clean situations. On screen now is the table comparing all the accessories included with each vacuum on this list. Keep in mind that some of these vacuums have multiple model variants that come with a different set of accessories than the ones listed here. While these five vacuums are the ones we consider the best recommendations, we've tested many other upright vacuums all with their own pros and cons. On screen is a comprehensive list of all upright vacuums we've tested to date. If you'd like to see our complete testing data and reviews for these upright vacuums, please visit us over at moderncastle.com. There, you can find deep dive reviews, comparisons, best ofs, and much, much more. Well, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Comments or questions, please drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying any of the vacuums we've featured today, we've got links in the description. For more from Modern Castle, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit moderncastle.com. As always, thank you. So much for watching.